What's up, my ninjas? Today I'm going to show you how to do an ombre effect to your hair in Vroid Studios. So let's begin. All right, so now that Vroid Studio is open, you're going to go to Hair Editor. And for this sake of the video, I'm going to do two different things. I want my bangs to remain one color, but I want my ponytail to be the ombre. So to do that, you're going to have to pick each hair to be its own separate like material and you're going to edit the one material that you want to be ombre. So the one that we want to be ombre is going to be this black. You see it's right here. You're going to go to texture. You're going to find that texture for the black. Uh, da -da. It's kind of a guessing game. And let's assume it's this one. Perfect. So this is the texture that I want to edit. To edit the texture, you're going to go to Photoshop. You're going to take this default image, hit export. I'm just going to save it as layer, PNG. Go to my Photoshop, grab that image, take into Photoshop like so. And I'm going to color this file. To know where I want the ombre to start, I'm going to go back to my model. I'm going to take the brush and I'm just going to figure out where I want it to be. So. You know, halfway mark is about the yay high on the ponytail. If I want it to be shorter, I'm just going to mess with the bottom. As you can tell, it's taking each individual strand of hair and adding the ombre to it, including the bangs, which happen to be the same material. In this case, let's go back to Photoshop. I'm going to make a layer on top of this. I'm going to pick a color. Let's do, let's do a fun, fun ocean blue. Let's do that. So I'm going to grab, grab a blue, grab my brush, increase the size, change the opacity so it's not like a striking brush color, and just gently do this. If I want it darker, I'll go over it once more, or I can just lightly do that. So basically, you're going to use this file and replace the texture that's currently being used in Vroid Studios, which also means you have to color the top as well. You have to color this whole thing so that you know, you know, this is what your hair is going to look like. So let's start with a like a light blue. You're going to realize you're going over the texture, and that's fine. Like so, and let's add like like a dark, dark purple. That's an ugly purple. Let's do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just lightly, lightly, oops, lightly brush. So there, you see it goes from a whitish to a blue to a purple. So maybe I want the blue to be a little higher. Gonna, you can change the passing flow depending on how you want it to show. That's too much now, I don't like it. I'm going to change the flow so the brush isn't so strong. Kind of like that. See, so that's kind of nice. You'll notice though that the hair texture that you just made over this, it's it's kind of erasing the lines. So in order to change that, you're gonna duplicate this hairline that you first got from Vroid. Duplicate, hit OK, move it to above the colored line and change the opacity. You're doing this because I just locked it. You're doing this so that you can keep these hair strands on, like so. Change it to however much you want. Obviously, you want enough that it has the hair texture. Go back to the layer that you're coloring and then, you know, keep changing it as you see fit. I want more blue, so I'm just going to... And yeah, that's kind of what I want. If you go too high on the opacity for this hair layer, it's going to completely erase what you drew. So you got to find a nice balance where you can see the hair textures, but also see the color. Then you're going to file, save as, rename it if you want. Make sure it's a PNG and save. Okay, go back to Vroid Studios, find that hair texture, go to default image and hit import. You're going to import that hair that you just made and ta-da, see, ombre, very cool. Now, you'll notice that maybe you didn't want the ombre on your bangs. In order to change that, you have to pick that specific hair 
and change it away from what that texture was. So I'm going to change it back to blue like so. So now my whole bang is blue. It's one color. You'll see that this right here is this material. You might be confused if it happens to be something else and you're like, why isn't my texture color showing? It's because you have to change it to white. So white will just take whatever texture you just drew and use those colors, which is why we colored it from the blue to the brown, sorry, blue to the darker blue to the purple, because we just replaced this whole color with that texture file. And yeah, that's about all it is for ombre. It's actually a lot simpler than when I first started because a lot of people think that, you know, shade is how you can change it, but shade is obviously shading the hair. It's not like, it's not creating an ombre at all. But you can mess around with it. So like I can go back to that file I did and, you know, mess around the shade if I want the shade to be mm, given like a yellow or more of a blue, it's things you can mess with. But to keep it the way that you drew it, it, the shade should the shade should just be white or the highlight should be white or whatever. Highlights are cool. You can just mess with it and however you want it to look. Um, so that's that. What if I want the bangs to be, you know, ombre too? So to do that, I can just grab my bangs group and nope, that didn't work. Well, I can grab each individual one and change it to ombre. Now, what if I want my bangs to be a different ombre? Hmm. So to do that, you're basically going to repeat the same exact steps we just did, but using a different material. So one way you can do that is grab that material you just made right here, hit duplicate. You'll see this right there. It'll be the very last thing in texture. You go back to texture. It'll be the last thing in hair. You duplicate it, the same thing. And you're going to just, once again, go back to Photoshop, make yourself a new thing. So I'm going to delete this color that I did. Oops, make something between it. And now I'm going to recolor this. Let's do a pink. Yes, okay. So we're gonna do it in I'm gonna do, I want it to be like a nice bubblegum pink. And I want it to go, I don't really, I don't know how pinks I am. I'm not much of a pink fan. As you can tell, my avatar is more blue. All right there, so now it's a two-tone pink. Once again, save as. I'm gonna save it as three so I know the differences between my files. I highly suggest naming your files because it'll make your life a lot easier. Now we're gonna to go to this hair texture, which we know are the bangs. We don't know it's the bangs. We don't know they're the bangs. Oh, that's because we haven't selected the hair texture. So if I go back to design, I grab these hair, select that new texture I made, which I'm gonna recolor to yellow, just so I know that this is the texture. These are the things I wanna edit. Gonna, one at a time. Friendly reminder to subscribe. We are trying to get to Twitch, not Twitch, YouTube partner. Uh, and in order to do that, I need a thousand subs and, you know, watch time and whatever, but I'm going to aim for that goal. Okay, so please subscribe. <laughs> All right, so now that we have the bangs, maybe we'll even, we'll mess with this one. Let's change this. The puke yellow, but what we're gonna do is we're just doing this so we know what these what these hairs are. We're gonna go back to texture, go to that hair. See that it says it's yellow. Go import, import your pink hair, <laughs> and you're going to delete that yellow. By delete, I mean just from yellow go to a white. But also that was kind of cool. You see, you see. Oops. It was kind of cool. You add a yellow and you add your pink as a shade and it makes this fun little like bird phoenix color or something. But I digress. We're going to do the white so that the ombre that I wanted goes straight onto the hair. You'll notice this, this, this little blue is not supposed to be there. Change it to the material that you duplicated, aka the pink, and ta-da. Like so. So that's an ombre. You know, darker at the bottom, lighter at the top. So say that you want to change the blue here. And again, you're going to hit a duplicate. It's going to be the very last one you duplicated. Change the color so you know the difference between them. 
the difference wrong. Ignore me. And we're going to do this like so. You'll notice that there is already a pinkish gray because when you duplicated the texture, sorry, when you duplicated the hair, you also duplicated the texture from the previous one we just did. So, you know, I can do that. I can do that crazy yellow again. That was kind of cool. So the shade thinks it's pink. So you can see a pinkish with the yellow. It's very neat what you guys can mess with here. And yeah, so we just did, you know, two, three-ish kind of different ombres. And I'm going to change my scalp, which happens to just be a default white. We'll change it to match. Or we can do that. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Where is my blue? Is that my blue? Where is my blue? All right. Well, regardless, that is... Mm, Whatever you just you know you click you click on it with your select tool click the hairs and change it how you see fit. That's a pink now. Well, it's kind of fun. So yeah, that's how you do an ombre effect. I hope this was helpful. It's definitely something that took me a while to learn, and I'm really glad I did because now all these commissioners are asking me for ombre or gradient hair, and I'm like, yes, I can do it. That's great. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me in this tutorial. I will make another one soon. Just please comment below what you would like to see. Please subscribe. I'm making tutorials. I'm trying to help you out and I would really appreciate it. Also, at a thousand subs, we'll do a free commission giveaway. And you know, that's that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>